Hi everyone, I'm Helen from Stimulus Consulting. Trust you all are doing good. Have you heard about this phrase, you were not born just to go to work, pay your bills and die? What does this statement actually mean? Yes, we do need our jobs to support ourselves and our families. We need our jobs to secure our future by saving up. But most of the days, we end up like zombies working tirelessly five to six days a week. And when we get our week offs or any kind of holidays, we end up engaging ourselves in chores and tiring ourselves even more. Now, life isn't supposed to be like this, isn't it? Life is supposed to be interesting. So in addition to working, you also need to go ahead and pursue something that makes you happy because most of the time we are trapped in our jobs. So there is something that you need to do just for you. So if you think that going on an expensive holiday, buying a big luxurious car or buying a beautiful big house is going to make you happy, you're wrong. Yes, these things might give you happiness for a short period of time. But what about in the long run? Come to think of it, you don't need too many big things to keep you happy. You just need to look at the small little things that you miss out on a daily basis. What can you do? There are several things, but of these, I just want to focus on one thing, which is finding your passion and pursuing your hobby. When I joined Stimulus Consulting, Sunil George, the founder and director of Stimulus, spoke to me highly about all his staff. But what stood out was one person in particular who he passionately spoke about and who I wanted to meet right away. And that's none other than Brian Vergis. Now, Brian Vergis has been with Stimulus for over 25 years and I'm so honored that he's my mentor and my colleague. Now, in addition to being a charismatic trainer and an author, Brian is also an amazing human being. And at the age of 66, he is an endurance cyclist. You heard that, right? Well, his passion has taken him to many places and built many contacts. He has inspired so many people and has received many accolades for his passion and his hobby, which is cycling. So we have someone very important here with us today. Hi, Brian. Hi, Helen. How are you doing? I'm doing very good, thank you. Excellent. So we are so happy that you're sharing your story with us. Now, could you please tell us how has pursuing your passion for cycling helped you? Right. That's a very interesting question, Helen. So passion and uh, pursuing. Okay, so passion for me is something that you look forward to with anticipation, with love, and that's bicycling for me. Pursuing the passion of bicycling, how has it helped me? So I would like to say it's helped me in three ways. Mm -hmm. First, obviously physically. Yeah. It's strengthened my body, my legs, my uh, breathing, my endurance, my immunity, Okay, I can withstand different weather changes. Awesome. So it's, you know, it's helped me tremendously. And I would really encourage people to do something to help you, okay, develop physically. Yeah. The second way it has uh, helped me is strengthen my thought processes. So mentally it strengthened me. Mm -hmm. When most people encounter a challenge, the first thing that comes to your mind, it's difficult, it's not possible. Okay, I think I, it's not for me. Yeah. That okay, has been a fantastic learning experience for me. Mm -hmm. While interacting with many, many bicyclists, the mindset was, this is a challenge. Don't look at what you cannot do but look at what you can do yeah. and what you cannot do okay work towards that so that's what it has done for me it strengthened my ability to think positive it strengthened my ability 
to accept that there are certain challenges, mm -hmm. but there are also solutions for those challenges. And I have done some ama amazing bike rides in difficult terrain, in you know wet weather. Mm -hmm. It's been a great experience. And of course, the third thing is you get to meet such a lot of interesting people. So I've ridden with youngsters, oldsters, <laughs> women, uh, men, uh, corporate guys, non-corporate guys, okay, people from the rural background, urban background, foreigners, locals, okay, and while traveling, you meet so many interesting people over there. True. So you chat with them, you learn about their food, language notwithstanding. Yes. Okay, communication does happen. So I had some very interesting experiences, you know, building that network of different people and many people and many of them are still in touch with me thanks to Facebook and you know social media mm -hmm. so I think these are three ways it's helped me that's awesome thank you so much for sharing that Brian so just to put it in a nutshell it has helped you physically mentally and to help build social connections is that right that's correct awesome Brian thank you so much now do you have any tips for amateur or aspiring bicyclists uh, well, I'd love to see more people actually get on their bicycles. Mm -hmm. So if you're asking me to share what I think would help them, is of course obviously physical. Yeah. Start small, start with short rides, get to know your body, okay, exercise, uh, sleep well, uh, eat healthy food yes. and then when you get on your bike you will get to know some of the challenges for you as an individual right. okay but those challenges are surmountable mm -hmm. for example okay you will get uh, body ache mm -hmm. pains in your back legs don't let that hinder you okay if it is if it needs medical attention obviously you need to go to a doctor but mm -hmm. initially let those you know those initial pains be conquered by doing a little bit more rather than stopping so that's the first thing then once you get on your bike okay I, I would suggest before you get on your bike you know do a little warm-up yes okay warm yourself up and then get on your bike mm. and the third thing is you know before you attempt to do a long ride okay, do many many short rides right. okay and the first long ride I would suggest is if you can do it with a friend, mm -hmm. okay, so there is security yes. okay, and uh, you know, he will you know, be a guide to you, you will be a guide to him yes. and then start you know, ex expanding your distance. So these are some of the few things that I think any endurance bicyclist, bicyclist would need. Those are some excellent tips Brian, so hope you all got that too. It's all about eating right, sleeping right and to do warm ups and start small and make sure that you have someone to guide you before you take that sure. big leap yes also now i heard something about an interesting adventure that's happening in december could you briefly tell us what it is all about yeah absolutely you said it right adventure and of course it's interesting for me yes having said that again there are so many people who have been working behind the scenes to ensure this interesting adventure okay is going to happen so the interesting adventure is about me riding solo mm -hmm. from Bangalore to Kanyakumari. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what most yes. people would, you know, when they look at me and they say, you, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So then that's the mindset shift, which I think we all should have yes. is, yeah, it may be wow for you, but for me, I've worked towards this so it's been in the pipeline for the last few months mm -hmm. so a lot of practice has uh, you know happened mm -hmm. the distance is about 680 odd kilometers mm -hmm. and that will be done over a uh, period of seven days right so i ride approximately 100 120 kilometers mm -hmm. on average mm -hmm. and then stop off and stay in a hotel rest okay uh, eat well sleep well and get on my bike the next day and all this is happening solo, you said. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. So I wanted to do a bike ride where I ride on my own. While I know a lot of my friends also said it'll be good if you have someone else with you or even someone accompany you. But I thought, you know, I'm a 
capable, competent of doing this on my own and I would like that experience. So to ensure that I'm safe, to ensure that I'm secure, a lot of planning has happened for that. And that planning has involved many, many friends. Right. Okay, And I'm very grateful to my organization called Stimulus Consulting that has agreed to be my co-sponsor for this entire ride. So I'm really grateful to them. And of course, I cannot but mention okay my wife and my daughter because yeah. they are the first people I ex you know explored this uh, interesting uh, expedition and of course they said your health is most important yes. so uh, they have agreed after the doctor has agreed awesome. so that's most important <laughs> it's an interesting adventure it's happening starting on the 10th of December right. we reach Kanyakumari by the 16th evening Okay, and then we come back by train. That's awesome, Brian. And we are looking forward to, you know, sharing, uh, to you sharing this experience after the whole your trip is done. So thank you so much for sharing your story. And thanks again for letting Stimulus co-sponsor your trip. Now, here's wishing you all the best. Our wishes and our prayers are with you. And safe ride. And uh, we'll hear more about it when you're back. Absolutely. Thanks very much for talking to me, thank Helen. Thank you so much, course, Brian. And this a parking shot. For those of you who want to get on your bike for an endurance ride, just do it. Awesome. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks so much, Brian. So you heard that, right? Brian is off on a solar cycle expedition all the way from Bangalore to Kanyakumari. And I just cannot wait for him to add another feather to his cap. Nevertheless, just like Brian, let's dig deep and find out what is it that we want to do in order to improve the quality of our lives. But when we are choosing a hobby, let's also keep in mind that this should help us physically, mentally and help us to improve our social connections. So let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts or if you have any experiences that you would like to share. Now on that note, thank you so much for listening. Go find your hobby, go find your passion and let's make this life beautiful. And Brian, all the best for your adventure in December. We wish you all the luck. Please stay safe and enjoy your ride. Thanks everyone. Bye. Hi, I'm Maria. I'm the cyclist daughter and I'm ecstatic that he's doing this at his age and I've never been more proud of him and I hope he has the best time ever and the best experience. Also being safe and coming back to us safely. Good luck, Dara. I know you're going to enjoy it and I hope you have the best ride ever. I'm Rekha, Brian's wife. We are excited that Brian is going for a ride, cycle ride, and that's his passion. And uh, he's been practicing for a long time now. And we are also excited as he is. And I wish him all the best. Safety is important. Please take care of yourself. Be safe. Come back to us safe. Hi, Brian. Wishing you a very safe trip. I know you've been waiting for quite some time to do this trip. Please be careful on the roads. We'll keep you in our prayers. I'm sure everything will go well. Safe trip once again. Bye, Brian. Hi, Brian. On behalf of all of us at Stimulus, we just want to wish you the best. Have fun on your ride. Enjoy. Uh, God bless you and ride safe. Yeah, take care. Hey, Brian. All the best for your road trip. Take care and be safe on the roads. Hey, Brian. I'm so happy that you're doing this trip uh, like you wished. I'm also wishing you the very best. Please stay safe on the roads. See you soon. Bye. Hi, sir. Wishing you a very happy and safe ride. And I think happiness is all about doing things what you really love. So enjoy the ride. Have fun. And please take care. Hi, Brian, sir. All the best for your bike ride. Be safe and enjoy your ride. All the best, sir. All the best, sir. Happy and safe journey. Hey Brian, all the best and happy journey. See you soon.